Hello, Microsoft Sam here again, and today we are gonna talk about a game called Marathon. There's a good chance that you never even heard of it. Marathon was created by Bungie Software, and was released in 1994. It was actually Bungie's third game. In case you were concerned about the fact that this game was made by Bungie, you had access to the entire arsenal, just like in most FPS games of the era. Actually, Marathon's gameplay is quite similar to Doom's. This game has some cool gameplay features, notably dual wielding and alt fires. There's a nice array of weapons in this game, from a pistol to a rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is very powerful, it's basically the PFG of Marathon. This game's graphics have that gritty, realistic kind of look, similar to Nuke Nukem 3D. The enemies you're up against are an alien race called the Four, and also the Four Slave race called the Sf. There's a point in this game in which the Sf rebel against the Four and help you fight them. When you're not mowing down hordes of aliens, you're trying to find your way out of a level. The levels in Marathon are large, maze like, and confusing. And yes, there are puzzles on top of this. If you're claustrophobic, don't play this game, because some of the mazes consist of tight hallways. The first Marathon game has 28 levels. Yes, I said first, because Marathon has two sequels, Marathon 2, Durandal, and Marathon Infinity. Now there should be no mystery to why the new Halo game is called Halo Infinite. So you're probably wondering, how good are these games really? Well, as far as I'm concerned, they are excellent. In some ways I think they are even better than Doom. Generally speaking, I find the Marathon series very enjoyable. What many Doomers may not like about these games is the varying mood and gravity physics. Yeah, there's plenty of action, but all happens at a slower pace, and it's mostly because of these physics. Personally, this doesn't bother me. After all, these games take place in space. There's one other thing I believe I should warn you about. Marathon 2 and Marathon Infinity don't have soundtracks other than title themes and chapter transition themes. Right, so these games have no gameplay music. I don't mind this at all, but you guys might. So I say that the Marathon series is great. But you don't have to take my word for it. Go ahead and play these games yourself. They are totally free nowadays. Download link is in the description. And so, leave a thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching. One more thing, if you're gonna go play Marathon for the first time, be sure to read data terminals, otherwise, you won't know what to do. Marathon isn't as straightforward as Doom. Also, be sure to interact with pattern buffers, you need these to save your game progress. I hate to break it to you, but there's no quick saving in Marathon. So, there you have it. Have fun.